The House is on Fire is my second novel and is based on the true story of the Richmond Theater Fire of 1811. The more I read about the fire and its aftermath, the more certain I became that this was the backdrop of my next novel. At the time, the fire was the single biggest calamity in terms of sudden loss of life that the United States had ever experienced. Women died in far greater numbers than men, which forced the city's residents to ask a lot of hard questions. And in the days after the fire, the theater troupe tried, without a shred of evidence, to blame the fire on a slave revolt. Because the fire affected both black and white theater goers, I made the decision to tell the story from four different points of view. Both my novels have required a lot of research, and it's funny, I would never have called myself a researcher. I didn't pay a particular amount of attention in history class, but I found that when I'm writing these books, it is extremely rewarding to be able to dig back into the past and to not just reflect the past in what I'm writing, but to reflect it really accurately. For me, part of the fun of writing these novels is looking at what's in the historical record and really internalizing it, but then imagining a story that takes place in what's not being said. Especially when you look at a story that takes place 200 years ago, all of the articles are being written by white men. You don't have women contributing. You certainly don't have people of color contributing. There are so many stories that are not being told, even within the official record of what happened, that, that part of the fun becomes imagining those people's stories, imagining what is hidden in plain sight. And that, for me, is a really fascinating place to be writing a novel. And, you know, in between what people are saying and, and what they're doing and, and, and what's not being said at all.